Hey everybody, Jesse Kern here with Keller Williams Legacy Group Realty, your singing realtor. Welcome home. So here's the month of November 2023 market recap. This is just for Dallas and Polk counties, the bulk of the Des Moines, Iowa metro. But before I get into that, I'm partnering, partnering with Integrity Settlement Services, the office where my transaction coordinators are and my settlement agent, my primary loan closer. Um, we're giving to the Ronald McDonald information's in the description and comments if you'd also like to make a donation to the Ronald McDonald House. Um, there's a QR code and some other information there. Totally optional if you're looking for a place to give. We would love to give with you. Okay, so let's dive into some market data. The main outlier is that expired listings for these two counties went up 53%. So yeah, that's a pretty big number. Active listings came down by almost 2%. The number of pended units, meaning sellers that accepted offers from buyers, came down almost 26%. That's another big number. That's pretty typical for this time of year with seasonality moving into winter. And the number of solds came down just a little over 14%. So we've got seasonality in the market. Expireds have gone up. It's still a seller's market. Well, actually we're moving into balance market as I look at this. Average days on market came up just over 8%. So we're looking at about 59 average days on market. Remember that's new construction and resale. Average absorption pricing index, meaning how many months of inventory are on the market, it is four. So we had four months of inventory in October and four months in November. Three or less is seller's market, four is balance, five is balance, six to eight is seller's market. So excuse me, Iyer's market. Ooh, glad I caught myself. So even though inventory is still low, four months of inventory isn't a lot. So if you're a seller, you got to be priced right. You got to be willing to do some repairs potentially before you go on the market or if the buyer asks for a repair, safety items and those kinds of things. You got to look prettier than the next listing kind of thing. If you're a buyer, rates have come down recently in the last couple of weeks. I have a buyer that he got quoted for FHA 6% and conventional 6.5 basically. And I've been watching those come down. Member rate is based on your individual credit worthiness. And moving into the spring, I'm just gonna keep this real. We're moving into a presidential election year and the sitting president's not gonna to wanna to be defending the economy. So I imagine that rates are gonna come down. That's kind of the prediction from things that I've read and things that I have seen. So it should be a pretty um, busy spring market. So if you're a seller and you don't want as much competition, list now or right after the new year, because everyone else is gonna come out in the spring. Valentine's is when that really starts to pick up. And if you're a buyer, rates have come back down. It can be a good time to buy and your buying power goes up. Rates come down, buying power goes up. There will be more competition, more buyers will come out in the spring as well. Okay, so that's pretty much market data. Um, the main thing is expired listings have come up just because the sellers, you, you gotta be presentable. Buyers have been fickle with the higher interest rates and otherwise overall, it's still a strong market. I hope you guys are well, happy holidays. Uh, my next video will come after New Year's, so happy holiday, whatever holiday you're celebrating in December. And Happy New Year, everyone. Have a blessed day.